Swiss Space Systems S3 was a company which planned to provide orbital launches of miniaturized satellites and manned suborbital spaceflights. The company was based in Payern in western Switzerland, near Payern Air Base, where it planned to build a spaceport in 2015. Suborbital spaceplanes were to be launched from an Airbus A300, giving the spacecraft more initial speed and altitude than if it were launched from the ground. The spacecraft, in turn, would release a disposable third stage. As of March 2013, the company planned to charge 10 million Swiss francs $10 million per launch using unmanned suborbital spaceplanes that could carry satellites weighing up to 250 kilograms (550 pounds). Costs were expected to be reduced by the reusable nature of the space plane and launch facilities, and by somewhat lower fuel consumption than conventional systems. In 2013, S3 also hoped to develop a manned version of its suborbital space plane to provide supersonic intercontinental flights to paying customers. According to CEO Pascal Jorsi, Far from wishing to launch into the space tourism market, we want rather to establish a new mode of air travel based on our satellite launch model that will allow spaceports on different continents to be reached in an hour. As of March 2013, project partners included the European Space Agency, Dassault Aviation, and the von Kármán Institute. According to Swiss Public Broadcasting, Swiss Space Systems became heavily indebted. In 2016, Swiss Space Systems asked to delay bankruptcy procedures as new funds from Singapore Bank Axios Credit were expected. However, news tabloid Blick reported that Singapore authorities declared that Axios is not a licensed bank. On 14 December 2016, Swiss Space Systems was declared bankrupt in the civil court of Broyer and North Vaud. History S3 was founded in 2012 by Pascal Jorcy, a pilot and engineer, and joined by astronaut Claude Nicolier. The inauguration was held on 13 March 2013 at Payern Airport. Initial plans called for the company to open its first spaceport by 2015 and begin test launches by 2015 Airbus and 2017 Shuttle. More spaceports were planned for Malaysia, Morocco and North America. Topic: S3 suborbital space plane. 2013 plans called for S3 to develop a suborbital spaceplane named SOAR that would launch a microsat launch vehicle capable of putting a payload of up to 250 kilograms (550 pounds) into low Earth orbit. As of October 2013. S3 hopes to achieve horizontal launch with its small satellite deployment system by 2018. In July 2014, S3 announced a partnership with North Bay, Ontario, Canada and Canador College to start drop test flights of a reduced-scale version the SOAR at Jack Garland Airport CYYB. .In addition to manned suborbital spaceflights, SOAR would also enable high-speed commercial flights over Mach 3, allowing, for instance, passengers to reach Sydney from Geneva in only a few hours. Topic: Future launch projections. The first launch was scheduled for 2018 with Clean Space One as payload. Topic: S3 spaceport. 
In October 2013, Swiss Space Systems signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Spaceport Colorado in the U.S. to allow the spaceport to be a Swiss Space Systems potential future North American launch site. In March 2014, a subsidiary was opened at the Kennedy Space Center to allow Swiss Space Systems to use the Shuttle Landing Facility for its operations. Gran Canaria Canary Islands, Spain, was to be the first European operations center as S3 planned to launch satellites from there in 2018. Topic <laughs> S30G S-30 was a part of Swiss Space Systems Holding SA, which offered flights in reduced gravity aircraft, a modified Airbus A300. Each flight included 15 parabolas during which the aircraft dives at a 45 degrees angle from 10,400 to 7,300 meters to 24,000 feet, giving 20 to 25 seconds of microgravity on board. S-30 aircraft were scheduled to travel to different countries around the world, starting in Switzerland during the second half of 2015. At the end of 2016, the company announced the first parabolic flights in January 2017. However, according to astronaut Claude Nicolier, president of the Committee of Experts of Swiss Space Systems, it is absolutely impossible, it needs an official authorization and it will take months, if not years. <laughs> CEO attacked Swiss newspapers reported the company to be heavily indebted. In 2015 and 2016, bailiffs collected between 3 and 4 million Swiss francs. The company's creditworthiness was deemed low. On August 26, 2016, Pascal Jorcy was abducted by unknown assailants, beaten, showered with a flammable liquid, and badly burned. In January 2017, it was reported that Jorcy might have staged the attack himself to save his bankrupt company. Topic. See also. Air launch to orbit Comparison of orbital launchers families Comparison of orbital launch systems Pegasus rocket, a similar concept. <laughs>